Hello and welcome to this video on template includes. So on our homepage, we have this newsletter sign up card. And if we go to the dashboard page, let's say we wanted to add it to the dashboard page as well. Let's take a look at the homepage template. So we're in home.html and this is our newsletter subscription card. Now we could copy this, go to the dashboard and simply paste it in here, save that and refresh. And there we go, we would have the card in two places. But if we ever made changes to this newsletter subscription card, we'd have to change it in two places or potentially more places. So let's put this into its own file and then simply include it in each of our templates. And let's create a new folder for this called includes. We don't have to do this, but it's nice to keep pieces of templates in their own folder and not mix in with the main page templates. So in this includes folder, we'll create a new file and we'll call it newsletter card. And in this, let's just paste in our newsletter card and save it. So now in our dashboard page, let's remove this, save that, and let's remove this and save that. So just to take a look on our dashboard, we've lost the card. And on our homepage, we've lost the newsletter card. Now let's add it back in. So here on the homepage, we just have to use this tag called include and then give it the path and name of that file. So it will be in includes slash newsletter card .html. So let's copy this and also add it to the dashboard page and test it out. Homepage. There we go, our newsletter form, and go to the dashboard, and there it is. And if we need to make a change to it, we'll just go back into the includes directory, and let's change the title to our newsletter. And if we check it out in the browser, it refreshed it on the dashboard page and on the home page because it is one file that is being included. So what else can we do? In our base.html file, we have the header, the block content where the page templates are inserted, and then we have the footer. Let's break the header and footer into their own files. So let's copy this and we'll say include includes slash header.html. And we'll just add this file here, paste in our content, and we'll do the same thing for the footer. Copy this. And put the footer in its own file. And let's test it out. The header's still there, the footer's still there, and that's on both of our pages. And it is simply being included into the base template. This is a super simple site, so this is probably not necessary, but as an app gets more and more complex, it can really help to break certain pieces of the template into their own files so you're not repeating that block everywhere and having to change it everywhere. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.